If you're an Amazon seller and you're wanting to get more into ManyChat and Messenger bots, then you need to keep watching this video because I'm here with my buddy Troy. Thanks so much, Troy, for uh, you know, making the drive over to my house and shooting this video with me. And uh, Troy owns a company, he's a co-founder of a company called Seller Tools, seller.tools, and he's gonna be dropping some knowledge on us for Amazon sellers that are wanting to get more into ManyChat and Messenger bots. So, if you're an Amazon seller, here are three ManyChat flows that you need to know. So, starting with the first flow. Yeah. What would you say is the first flow every Amazon seller needs to know? Yeah, I think it's really important to start with discounted giveaways. This is the tried and true way to rank for a majority of keywords on Amazon. We're okay. offering a discount to incentivize a sale so you realize sales velocity. And okay. so the way that we achieve that through ManyChat is offering up those discounts, so single-use codes that we create in Seller Central, okay. and we can easily integrate that with Seller.Tools and ManyChat so we make full use of our ManyChat uh, user base and uh, achieve some of those objectives, notably uh, ranking for majority of your keywords. Okay, now I assume with ManyChat, you know, how do you initially get them into ManyChat? Mm -hmm. Is it with a Facebook ad? Is it with an email blast? Is it some other traffic source? Yeah, no, it's a great point. You really, if, if you're able to, if you have an existing audience, it's a great opportunity through something like a ref URL and kicking off um, and getting customers into those flows. If you have an existing audience, you've pixeled a page on your website, you've got an email list. If not, it's a good opportunity to think about a direct response Facebook ad where you're offering that value. This is where discounted giveaways are kind of easy because you can incentivize it. Hey, if you're offering your product for 25, 30% off, that's gonna excite people. If you've, if you've got a great product, which is of course, uh, should be a given, mm -hmm. uh, that it should excite people to get it and take full advantage of that offer and mm -hmm. get them into your mini chat flow. Yeah, I mean, and plus you wanna get those first time customers, right? Cause then you wanna upsell them other products or maybe get them to buy again, right? But so as far as the single use, right? Cause they could, obviously Amazon sellers could easily create a, a promo code that everybody can use, mm -hmm. right? But what is the real value in a single use promo code? Yeah, it, it helps to ensure that there's no abuse. You're attributing a single code to a single customer with one transaction. So it okay. makes sure there's no abuse. And to your point, it's a, just a great way to get customers in because then we have so much potential where we can yeah. add more value, we can build loyalty and do so much more once we have that customer in the door. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I actually have a client, a uh, pretty big Amazon seller, and he got very abused with, uh, with the promo code that, there was an error, you know, it wasn't something that was on purpose or nobody did it as a malicious way, but there was an error in the way that the promo code was created. So it actually discounted it like massively low and then somebody, you know, spread the word quickly and it was just like 30,000 orders came through on a massive discount. So using these single use promo codes is hugely important. It could save your entire business because with this guy, it it was it was devastating, you know, mm -hmm. six figure loss in yeah. in not having a single use promo code um, funnel set up. Yeah, it's huge. It's really important. So really, the setup and the management of your codes are really important pieces of the equation. If you're just yeah. getting started, to this is just a great way to get customers in the door and to meet that objective to start ranking for some of your keywords and kind of killing two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. So walk us through just briefly, obviously we don't have a computer, we can't share a screen, but how does this flow look? Uh, give us a little bit more technical insight into how this single use promo code many chat flow works. Yeah, no, absolutely. So what you would do, first and foremost, create your single use codes in Seller Central. Once you have those, you bring them over into seller.tools, upload them to a new promotion, and then you take that promotion, there's a hash, this is, again, we could cover this if you were uh, taking a look at ManyChat. We bring that over into ManyChat and that's all we need to integrate the single co uh, single use codes you've created and bring them over then into ManyChat. And then okay. that way as they're being utilized, being claimed, you can track and manage them within Seller.Tools. So it's a centralized okay. dashboard to see all that activity and make sure that they're being uh, claimed as, as you're intending, uh, but all in one uh, easy to use place, no human error, no G sheets or extra third party uh, tools or anything like that. Just one clean and easy place to manage it. Awesome, yeah. And by the way guys, if you're wanting to get signed up with seller.tools 
and you wanna save 10% in the process, there is gonna be a link below in the description of this video. Go ahead and click that link, create your account. It's a trial trial offer, right? So mm -hmm. they'll save 10% and what's it, a 14 day trial or? For, yeah, 14 day trial, where you'll okay. be able to try out all of the, uh, the features and the tools in the platform. Okay, cool, cool. So what is that second way that Amazon sellers should be leveraging ManyChat? Yeah, the second one is a big one and it's gotten to be very popular and it's the use of rebates. And okay. uh, rightfully so, it's just, this is popular for good reason because it allows you to uh, realize full purchase buys, which uh, Amazon loves, and it also allows mm -hmm. you to then capture five-star verified reviews with those full purchase buys. So it's a really powerful strategy to be able to implement in many chat with those insane open and click-through rates it's, yeah. it's like a perfect marriage right now for Amazon sellers to be able to leverage. Yeah, and so I assume that it's mostly for launching a new product or are you constantly doing this rebate offer all, all the time, you know, monthly or? I th you can really target, you can really laser target it because you don't need to give away as many units necessarily. Um, and you could get creative whether you're using like an optimized link. So if you're using like a two-step URL um, or using search find buy where you're encouraging a customer mm. to find that product by just kind of feeding them a keyword. Um, that's that adds some extra juice to it as well. Just to clarify there. So they search a certain keyword phrase, they find the product and then they buy that product from that keyword phrase. Yeah, just to clarify. Point. <laughs> and then so, so the flow I would imagine starts in the mini chat, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. a Facebook ad or whatever in mini chat, Hey, would you like to buy this? Okay, great. Here's the instructions. Mm -hmm. right search find buy they go buy it and then is there like a delay that you know a delayed message that gets sent to them saying hey did you buy you know let's let's get your rebate or or do they just come back to the mini chat and they click a button saying hey I've bought how does that work it's a great point adding in those delays is a really great way to formalize your rebate flow and you can add in uh, let's say you want to wait 30 days as long as you condition and make those expectations clear because the seller's concern is that a customer may return the product and then still want a rebate. Mm -hmm. But as long as you clarify that and there is shared expectations, you can add that delay in your mini chat sequence. And this is where Solar Tools really shines where you can verify orders in real time and really track mm. and make sure that there's no abuse. Customers actually taking advantage of the rebate and they're eligible to receive uh, the rebate on the back end once they've completed the purchase. So tell me more about that because you know, I've always seen people do these rebates. I don't believe they were using seller tools, but you know, how does seller tool bring that extra value when you were saying that it will verify? Mm -hmm. And I've actually seen that with the purchase that we did one time, you know, they, they gave us a discount or maybe it was like a second product for free or something, but they verified, they're like, give us your order number. And then they like verified it in real time. So how are you guys doing that kind of verification. Yeah, so the way that we do it is we use our API. We effectively unlock the data that sellers should have through Seller Central. That's kind of how we view it. Obviously, we're a little bit biased, but when you tap into that, you're able to literally verify if, if a customer will be, what we'll do is we'll request their order ID, same same okay. uh, flow it sounds like that you were in. But Could have been you guys, I don't, yeah. you know, I don't know. <laughs> who knows, who knows? Yeah. Uh, but what other sellers have done is that they'll have a, essentially a human element. They'll have a VA, a member of their team, okay. take that order, bring it into Seller Central, check it, check back in with the customer. Mm -hmm. And there's delays there, there's the potential for human error there. And what we really like about this order verification in real time is it plucks all of those things out of the equation and it keeps customers happy. They're, they're Amazon customers. They're used to getting stuff in two days, yeah. instantly, payment on file, one-click payment. And so well, they automated. like it as well, yeah. yes. So it automates it for the seller mm -hmm. and then it's a lot faster for the buyer. Now, what about that rebate? How mm -hmm. is that rebate, the payment that they get, is that automated? So right now, the way that we've configured it is that we request the customer's PayPal information and then we time the, uh, the rebate or the payout to uh, the PayPal, again, depending on if we want to wait those 30 days, we want to wait seven days, whatever rebate window we clarify mm. and really have shared expectations with that customer. And that rebate window is because of the return. Correct. You were saying they yes. can just return it and they just keep the money. And right. yeah, obviously that's a scam. That's yeah. lying. So that's not, <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So any other things that you want to share? Any additional things about the rebate club? Yeah. Rebates are just really powerful. I think it's important to think first and foremost about discounted giveaways. That is really the low hanging fruit where customers are, are, there's not as much of an explanation where customers are starting to really understand rebate 
processes more. Okay. There are deal chasers that are folks that want yeah. those types of opportunities, and there's nothing wrong with them necessarily. But discounted giveaways are a great way to get folks in the door, and then maybe uh, you know if you if you feel like you need to get a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more uh, advanced strategies, rebates are a good thing to kind of bolt on, and maybe even go back to that same audience and say, hey, here's our new product. We'd love to give it to you for 100% rebate or 90% uh, rebate, or give them some type of unique savings uh, to keep them interested. You know, mm -hmm. it's a good way to change things up. Yeah, and you're getting them as a messenger bot subscriber. Mm -hmm. So huge. And then if you wanted to, I mean, they're giving you their PayPal email, right? Mm -hmm. So you could kind of work some wording in there saying, by the way, when you give us your PayPal email, we'll add you to our list, or maybe you can kind of allow, you know, so that you're getting mini chat subscriber and email subscriber. Uh, I don't know, have you ever There's done any all, kind of email yeah, marketing? There is, there is so much yeah. you can do there, absolutely. Yeah. Yep, and one of the other strategies that we'll touch on uh, kind of alludes to the same thing as well, is you're building this, uh, this sort of customer data set, which is often very much lacking in the Amazon space. And this mm -hmm. is where you get these strategies that have very clear objectives that are super valuable, but then you're building uh, these really strong and really passionate customers and giving them unique value. And then you're taking that and maybe creating look-alike look audiences mm -hmm. or email market, like, you know, really creating uh, unique uh, engagement opportunities yeah. with these customers. Where you can kind of own some of the data, exactly. own them as a customer instead of them being Amazon's customer. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. A little bit of a gray area. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, number three, what is mm -hmm. that third? So we save this for the third because it's a little complex, but it is definitely a really good one. So keep watching this video because you're not going to want to miss out on this yeah. third one. So what is this third many chat flow Amazon sellers need to be leveraging? Yeah, this one is uh, is really powerful and it's BOGOs, buy one, get one. And uh, what's really powerful about it is that it uses, again, it uses the API, some tools and functionality and seller.tools to, to really automate some of the key parts and pieces. Uh, but it really excites customers as well because you're getting a full purchase buy and then you're utilizing an MCF order to send them uh, based on the offer, maybe the same product again, product A, or you could offer them product B where there's cross-selling potential, there's mm. samples, there's all kinds of really cool and creative ways yeah. that you can bolt on that value still while making sure you get that full purchase buy, mm -hmm. uh, which again, the Amazon algorithm loves mm -hmm. and it uh, sets the, sets the uh, potential for capturing five-star verified reviews. Yeah, so walk me through that process on a little bit more of a technical aspect. How does that flow look? Is it um, similar to the rebate and the discount where you're maybe running a Facebook ad, you get them to opt into the mini chat? How does that look? Yeah, you could keep it really that simple where it's just clarifying the offer through an ad, taking them through and, and really clarifying. This is where it's a little bit more advanced because you wanna make sure, again, shared expectations of what they're buying and then what they're getting. And obviously we're using technology to automate this for both you and the, the customer, but you'll direct them to Amazon, whether again, you use search find buy or an optimized link okay. uh, when they're completing their full purchase buy. And then they'll come back, verify their order. So same step that we did in the, the rebate process. Okay. And then on the other side of that, once we see that they're eligible because they've purchased the item, we're ready to then have the, the get one aspect of what they're getting on the back end. And this is where you can kind of get creative again when it comes to customer data is, mm -hmm. what would you like to ask of them when they're eligible to receive yeah. the second item? So yeah. again, use your discretion. If it's you know customer name that's that may be lacking, or obviously we need their address to confirm where we're sending their item, we can actually send them a product that they confirm all of that information and do that in real time. We don't have to send that off to a member of our team to create an MCF order through Seller Central, adding delays, adding human error. We can do that all through the Seller Tools API. Okay, and just a reminder guys, link is in the description. If you wanna save 10% on the seller.tools tool uh, software, take advantage of that 10% off down below. And you also get a 14 day trial, so mm -hmm. not much risk there. But um, quick question about the buy one, get one, mm -hmm. right? Here's an idea, I don't know if you've ever used it, but um, what if you push them over to a Shopify store and that Shopify store is set up for FBA, right? So all the orders that come in through that Shopify, you know, go through Amazon and it's shipped up through Amazon. So you're, you're giving them maybe 100% off promo code and you're saying, hey, put this 100% off promo code in the Shopify store at checkout. And then that's just, you know, then it seems like it's an automated 
way to do it. Is that how you guys are doing it? Or? You can totally do that. Yeah, that's really the yeah. power of, of, as long as you verify the order, that's such an, a crucial piece of the equation is just the eligibility of these mm -hmm. customers, making sure that they're not sending, you know, in other flows that don't have this automation, you're waiting for uh, maybe screenshots of their uh, completed order. Which can be or, faked. Yeah, <laughs> or, you know, or order IDs, and then you're waiting yeah. two days, and then, you, you know, you would be surprised waiting additional day or two, customers are just, like I said, they're Amazon shoppers. Amazon's conditioned them mm -hmm. for high expectations. Many of us are kind of the same way. Again, mm -hmm. one, you know, we're one day shipment right at my door. And so really we try to parallel that with some of the technical solutions and the automation. And um, yeah, as long as you have that piece in there, you can get creative with, hey, your get one is on our website and you can capture more information or yeah. serve them better or acclimate them to some of your brand touch points and really cultivate more of an experience. I mean, what you could potentially do is, is you know, you give them the 100% off on the Shopify and then maybe using a an app called like um, One Click Upsell, Zipify pages, you know, Ezra Firestone's type of amp, app, you can upsell them so that they're getting this for free and that's great and all, but maybe you upsell them to buying something else half off or, you know, get a little bit of extra value in there. I mean. You know, mm -hmm. might as well give it a try. Split test, you know, try some things out. Yeah. But, um, and there's okay. buyer psychology there too, right? Where the different offers based on your product, based on your category. This is why I think these three flows are really why you should, you should know all of them because it, it really will depend on your offer, on your product, on what you have available and what value you're offering to your customers. And you can kind of pull these levers selectively, whether it's how do we get somebody in? How do we rank? How do we build a relationship or more uh, customer data set? But all of these at your disposal is just really, really powerful. Now, do these flows come with a seller.tools account or how can they get these flows with their seller.tools account? Yeah, so we have brand, well, really new, we're continually building out flows, but these in particular, you can get free flows on our mini chat page on the seller.tools site. So these are completely free flows. And even in your trial, you have the ability to utilize each one of these and really start seeing the benefits of building your mini chat list, ranking some of your keywords, yeah. and really getting that snowball rolling. So I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning just to kind <laughs> of uh, keep the people in mind, but this is free. These three that we just mentioned are completely free with your seller.tools account, which just a little reminder, link in description, and just full transparency, I do get a small, you know, kickback, uh, you know, affiliate commission from that, so I'm not, you know, lying to you, but you are gonna save 10% with signing up with seller.tools. You're gonna get these free, three mini chat flows, templates, you know, uh, these things that you can implant, plug right into your Amazon business, and um, start to get more of that customer information. So any last remarks, anything you wanna just end on? Yeah, no, I'm excited. If you haven't dumped into ManyChat right now, I just can't stress enough. Yeah. It is the golden era, especially for Amazon sellers. If we had this three, four, five years ago, I mean, we would just be all over it. And so now is the time. Now is your opportunity to really dive in, make the most of it. It's just it's just a great opportunity for Amazon sellers and more. I mean, chat marketing is just such a huge tool uh, in your arsenal. Yeah, I mean, you know, many chat, early bird gets the worm. And right now, many chat is still very early. Messenger bots are still very early. Majority of people are not use, utilizing this. So if you're early in this, then you can get a whole bunch of subscribers quick and cheap, uh, <laughs> cheap and fast, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got value from this video. Be sure to hit the like button below, leave a comment below if you have any questions at all. Again, link is below if you wanna get signed up with seller.tools, get, take advantage of that 10% off, 14 day trial. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again, Troy, for uh, joining me here on the video and uh, making the trip out to my house. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.